Welcome to today's class. Really excited to have you guys logging on. Uh, this is really one of my all time favorite haircuts I'm gonna share with you guys today as well. So the outcome's pretty cool. So right below Prattle Ridge, draw a U-shaped section, separate top and bottom. Then I go in and I separate front and back using a nice little square section here, right behind the ear, following that hairline down. And now I'm gonna mimic and do the same thing on the opposite side. I use a braid just to keep everything nice and tight and out of the way. So we'll go right here, vertical section down that hairline. You can see right here is our line down the hairline. Comb all that hair into the back and then comb this hair nice and tight and then braid it. This is the, uh, the most you'll ever see me with my updo skills. I am a three strand braid. What is the word I'm looking for? I'm not good at it. I'm not good at braiding or words. We've got that U-shaped section and then we got our front and back sectioned away. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start sectioning the back, which is gonna be a vertical line straight down center back. Vertical straight down center back. Got my spray bottle right here, go down. Comb this hair over. So I got a vertical line straight down center back. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a slight diagonal forward line from occipital bone down to behind the ear. And I'll comb this hair over nice and tight. I'm gonna use it soon, so I don't need to like twist it up, but I'll just clip it out of the way nice and tight. I do the same thing on the opposite side. Simple bone down to behind the ear. I'll check for balance, nice and tight. Slide a clip up under, clip it away. There is my sectioning. Straight down center back, simple bone over. You got this hair down here, and you got the hair above. This is what we're gonna cut our concave layers into. And then we're gonna go convex pretty much all the way up from that point. How do we cut these concave layers? I'm going to take a vertical section, just like this, straight down center back. Just know that as you bring this hair up, I'm gonna try to stay out of the way as much as possible. So I come here, I bring this hair up. I'm gonna come out of the head and then shift my hand up like this. And then I'm gonna cut short to long. Now I look at this layer length and I assess it and I see, does that the length that I desire? Is that the length that I want to then move forward to start my convex layering from? I think that that's a good length. I'm gonna stick with that. And now I'm going to take vertical section right next to that one. Now, how do we cut square in the back or a balance line? I like to call it. I like to bring that old previous section halfway to the new section. Comb it halfway there, out, and then shift my hand up. And I work short to long. No. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 stone cold stunner go through and we can check pulling these both back both these corners back and just make sure that they are balanced up and also check horizontally just like this now we can move to these two sections up here i'm going to grab my clip out vertical section here and all i need is the top side of that concave layer I'm bring this straight back there's my guide and i'm going to cut so now, same thing, vertical sections, bring everything straight back, pulling my guide from the middle. No. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 stone cold stone. The other thing I didn't really emphasize, emphasize so much was the fact that my sectioning really allows me to do this haircut. Because if I didn't section at the hairline here at this point, if I went into this hair at all and brought that hair back and cut it that short, I would have a much shorter kind of hole that would happen right here in the haircut. I'm gonna lay it, take it out, comb it forward. And we're gonna break this up into four sections, four quadrants, top, that this side away and really what i'm going to do is i'm going to split these in two now i'll comb it towards me and i'm going to split it at the high point of the head right here and this is really just so i'm not working with so much hair in my hands and there is another subsection so I'll grab this hair in my hands i'm going to take a vertical parting through and i'm going to bring this hair straight up and i'm going to connect it to this back point back layer. I'm going to do that starting by over directing it back and then rounding it off, cutting a convex layer through. And then we're going to draw a convex line around here. Cut. Just keep working around the head. That's that. Now I'm going to take another vertical line. No. Pretty Caroline. Oh, 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 oh. Stone cold stone. All right. So same thing on the opposite side, and then we will start to blow dry, and then I'll do my dry detail work before we finish. So split this at the high point, same way as we did before. Comb the rest of this hair forward. Let's pretend she's real, get that hair out of her face, and then continue through the back. Take the hair straight down the center. And I'll bring it up and cut it. Hair's getting dry. Surrounding the head, right up, parallel to the floor. 
Farewell to the sea. No. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 Stone Cold Stunner. She was a fan of started working at going to be longer than the back. I'm not worried about the perimeter length right now because I'm going to cut into the perimeter length all over this cut. This is also a great shag type cut the way that we did the top to have a versatile fringe, something nice and light that would kind of part in the middle, match up with current styles of today, but also you could go back and forth with it as well. So we're going to blow it dry, smooth it out, and then we'll start our cut. No. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 stone cold stone. I'm gonna put in a fringe. Uh, we're gonna do a nice straight fringe across the front right here. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to lift up the hair into my comb. And you just really wanna comb the hair kind of where it's gonna fall and then you can stamp it in. Across, lift the hair up. And then I can decide, I put it in the wide teeth of my comb and I can kind of decide exactly where I want that fringe to be. I'm gonna keep it out of her eyes so the internet doesn't get mad. I'm gonna work my way across. I'm just using the tip of the scissor. I'm slightly lifting this section up, but not elevating it too high. So I don't want to cut it flat to the head, but I also don't want to cut it elevated too much either. Starts the fringe, continue working my way over. And then as I start to drop it, I'll just continue cutting a little bit. Helps out with my line. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into some of these layers in the back, that convex shape. You can see it, how it kind of pops. I'm gonna bring and take out just some of that weight right in this interior area. So right in here, I'll just come in, point cut through it. Out, there's my line, and I'm just gonna soften it. I don't wanna change it, I just wanna soften. I'm going to grab my tri razor. I'm just gonna pinch cut some of this, pinch and cut. And you could always you know, fine tune it with a scissor if you want to, or you could cut it with a scissor. I just like the idea of being able to kind of come in and just pinch and cut. Alright guys, thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoyed the class. I will see you guys 